She was a standard poodle. We formed a very strong bond. I ended up mummifying Maggie, and it was the best thing I ever did. Rudy took a very long time. At that point, I was still crying every day. One day, he just showed up. <laughs> I took him out of the box, and I sat him in my lap, just like he is now, and I was just petting him. There's one that we just did that I think really says it all. It says, our hearts still ache in sadness and secret tears still flow. What it meant to lose you, no one will ever know. There's still that stigma of how could you grieve over a pet? It's not a child, it's not a person, but that's exactly how we're interacting with our animals in the U.S. today. People often break our trust. Animals almost never do that. They are little people. They just happen to have little fur coats on. She'll get um, organic. Jesse, do you want some of your chicken cacciatore? I probably spent more money on memorializing Tucker than I did when he was alive. I realize that so much of this is about me and not about Tucker, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> You're entitled to have your grief as long as you like. But in what universe is that healthy? <laughs> Darling, my baby. We're probably looking at six or eight thousand dollars. I have two clones of the Wolfie. This is Wolfie Bear, and we have Wolfie Girl out there somewhere. Hello. Yes. I had one lady that actually threatened to sue me because she said that her dog did not have the life in its eyes it did when it was alive. These people can't let go.